Now at 5.30, the search for several suspects who robbed and brutally assaulted a Northside family. Neighbors say the family wants their privacy and wants those responsible caught. But police are being especially tight-lipped in this investigation as they continue to interview the victims and process evidence collected from the crime scene. Our TV6 reporter Tony Spencer has the latest details from the North Side. It's probably one of the few neighborhoods that the kids still play out in the street because we're off the beaten path. That quiet neighborhood near 79th and College is quiet again today. A stark difference to the police scene here Tuesday. After four or five men broke into a home, ransacked it, robbed the family, forced them to drive to an ATM to withdraw money, then shot the mother and assaulted her and her daughter before stealing their three vehicles, all of which were later recovered abandoned. Metro Police have increased patrols in the area, but so far they've not released any descriptions of the suspects or surveillance video from that ATM. Meanwhile, detectives are analyzing evidence to see if this crime is connected with a similar break-in last week, where four men kicked in the door of a home in the 7,000 block of Spring Mill, tied up the owner, ransacked the house, and stole an SUV. Neighbors tell me the family victimized in this latest attack is extremely well-liked, and that neighbors and friends will rally around them to help them heal. All want the suspects caught soon. Try not to be uh, afraid. Um, just be as careful as you can. Be mindful of what's vulnerable. And, and realize this is still a very, 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 very unusual thing. Scary, but you know, not the norm. On the north side, Tanya Spencer, RTV6. Now, if you know anything about the men police are looking for, call Crime Stoppers at 262-TIPS.